Hello everybody, Aistocky here and welcome to the first actual episode of my Let's Play of the Technicality 3 pack. Um, I said after I recorded the intro uh, episode that I was going to jump straight into recording this, um, but I found a couple of um, problems. Uh, one of them was with Eureka. It's now been fixed. Um, a Enterprise was fantastic. Like As soon as I posted the issue on GitHub, he basically fixed it. Um, but also there was a couple of config problems that I wanted to get sorted as well. So they're all sorted now. So we're ready to go. So here's the C that I'm going to be using. Capital T-E-C-H-3. I'm turning cheats on so I can uh, turn off mob griefing. Uh, world name is going to be the same. Obviously survival. I'm going to be playing on normal difficulty. So we'll see how things go. Let's see where we spawn. Ah, oh, that's good. Okay, so we have spawned uh, in a forest, it looks like, surrounded by birch forests and some forest hills and things. Interesting. Well, let's get started with what we always do in Minecraft, taking inventory, getting... ourselves a thing. Now I've got all of the mods in the technicality pack installed, um, but I'm going to be focusing uh, mainly on Tinkerer's Construct or Iguana's Tinker Tweaks and Buildcraft to, to get started. Um, I'm going to be using uh, progressive automation and a few things like that to help out and potentially Ex Nihilio to help out getting some of the maybe like cactus and things like that if there's no deserts anywhere near. But yeah, we'll see how things go. I don't normally start with birch wood, but eh, whatever. Let's get some oak, see if we can get a couple of different kinds of saplings. Uh, now for those of you who, um, I guess, don't really know what this pack is or what it's about, um, check the previous video to this in the playlist, which is the one that kind of is the intro to the pack itself. Um, but there is a mod called get all the seeds installed and so it allows you to get uh, carrots, potatoes, um, melon seeds, pumpkin seeds, all those kinds of things from long grass. So you can see I just got a couple of carrots then which is good luck. Um, Pam's harvest craft is also installed uh, but you don't get those seeds from long grass. The way you get them is you have to find things like this. This is called a stalk garden and when you break it you get a couple of stalky vegetables. So an eggplant, a bell pepper and an okra. So each kind of um, garden that you find, there's a couple of different varieties. We'll have different varieties of uh, Pam's foods, and then you can place those in the crafting table and get seeds from them. Punching wood, punching wood, punching wood. This is always slow. Uh, I'm going to aim for about uh, 20 minute videos. Beautiful couple of saplings. And so we'll sort of see how things go from there, but obviously, first thing we always need to do, crafting table, I'm going to get straight into, um, oops, wrong one, straight into doing Tinkerer's Construct stuff, because the sooner I get going, the better off I'm going to be with it all. I'm going to chuck all this stuff that I don't need for now in there. Um, gonna want some sticks. Gonna want some patterns. Eight patterns, I think, should be plenty. So the first thing we need is a pattern and a log for a part builder. Then we need a crafting table and a pattern for a tool station. Then we need a chest and a pattern. Gotta be above it, does it, for a pattern chest. Uh, there's a little glitch with the texture of this. I'm not sure why that is. Um, doesn't actually cause any problems though. Just make sure I've got. No, not controls, video settings. Yes, yeah, the advanced OpenGL isn't a setting anymore. So I think it's on by default. That just got really loud. Oh, must have been a glitch. Okay. So where were we? Part builder. 
I need a stencil table. Maybe that's just one of these. Yep, indeed it is. Okay, so... Um, let's go over here. So stencil table, pattern chest, part builder, tool station. Uh, cool, so it came with a free stencil. Wasn't totally expecting that. I like the... Okay. That seems to be a bit of a bug. It shouldn't be doing that. So we're going to we're going to need a tool binding as well. Yeah, that's a bug that shouldn't be happening. We shouldn't keep getting those tool patterns. I'm going to throw away. Whoops. Um, options. Well, inventory. Utility mode. Going to delete one of those patterns. So what do I have? I've got. Um, tool rod, pickaxe, tool binding. The next thing I'm going to want to go for is a hatchet. Ooh, I probably want a shovel as well. Okay. How are we done for time? Midday. Uh, shovel, 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 shovel. So we need another pattern. And we get four of them at a time, that's good. So let's throw some of those in there. We want a shovel. While I'm at it, you're a knife blade, right? Crossbar, perfect. I'm going to leave that pattern in there. Now here, uh, bindings I can build out of wood. So I'm going to get a wooden binding. Gives me another stick. Um, crossbar, can I make them excellent? So you can see if I shift here, I can't make that out of wood or that or that. Can make that, can't make that. So I'm going to need another stick anyway, so let's do that. Get myself lots of sticks. Now, without further ado, I actually need to find some gravel. Because without gravel, it's actually kind of tough to get going. Um, so, knowing how well this is going to work for me, let's go for a wooden pickaxe. No, it can only mine stone, and it can't be upgraded. So it's not a particularly useful thing, but you know you're in a forest. There is bound to be some gravel around here somewhere. Now, until I make a stone pick or something like that, I can't actually get any coal either. Gravel, perfect. Now the way the Tinker's Tweaks works uh, is that it actually turns off uh, gravel dropping flint. So you will never ever get flint from gravel, um, but it adds in a crafting recipe to allow you to get uh, flint from gravel. So basically the way that works is you place two pieces of flint together in a craft sorry, two pieces of gravel together on a crafting table, and you get a flint. So you've got a knife blade, a pick, a shovel, a axe, and I'll hang on to the rest for now. Going to need those though and probably going to need just a couple more sticks as well. Excellent. So we come over here, we can make ourselves a flint pickaxe head, a flint hatchet, a flint shovel, and a flint knife blade. And we've got a 
flint shard left. So now let's start building some of these things up. Excellent. There we have our first tool of the day. We then need our flint knife. Not a particularly useful weapon, um, but you know, it, it gets there eventually. Got a shovel and a hatchet. So now I've got myself a good set of flint tools. And get rid of these crudelicious ones. Now this only has a mining level of stone as well, which also means I can't yet get coal with it. Uh, but I can get stone and make charcoal, so that's going to be the very first thing that I do. There we go, furnace. Um, Excellent. That's my inventory. Let's cook up some of that. So this is a obviously it's a little bit of a slow start to the game. Um, I honestly think that adds some charm uh, to the tinker tweaks because it kind of means you've got to work for everything, and everything that you kind of get, you know, you feel like you've earned it. Or at least that's kind of how I am about it. So I'm just going to confirm before it becomes night. The difficulty is normal. Excellent. Let's cook up a stack of birch wood. And while I'm doing that, let's gather some more stone. And see about maybe making ourselves a little bit of a... A little bit of a wall of some sort. Um, just gonna check the brightness setting. Brightness plus 50. See, it's just genuinely dark in here. Okay, I can live with that. So I need just a couple more pieces. And then we should pretty much be good to go. Now these knives are cool because you can attack with them, but you can also right click boom, and throw them. Uh, throwing takes durability, but otherwise it seems to work pretty well. In fact, quite a fan of throwing knives. Doesn't do a whole lot of damage, but it is definitely a handy thing. So now we've got a good amount of charcoal, make a good amount of torches, put all this stuff away for later. I don't ever plan on planting okra. Bell pepper, maybe. Eggplants, maybe. Obviously, got lots of carrots, which I'm going to plant um, pretty much as soon as I can, in fact. But. I'm thinking I will. So you can see here that I have no XP for that tool. Here though I have 42 for mining and 42 for skill. So once I get that up to 185 for mining I'll be able to mine copper or coal. So that's pretty cool. Um, here I have my shovel. 
uh, which requires 302 and my hatchet which requires 166 so it takes quite a long time for just about everything uh, but obviously the pickaxe is going to be the easiest because I light this up a bit lots of gravel here to help me out basically what I want to do uh, is just dig my way down so it's my standard staircase setup in fact it will be even better once I go options draw cords and turn those on so I can see what altitude I'm at down to 56 so I've got a long way to go down uh, you can see the little X there saying that I cannot mine the amber bearing stone obviously uh, but I just thought I'd show the difference between it, it says stone it says not currently harvestable so unlike by default I think where you see the harvesting levels of everything I've got that turned off I just heard a skeleton cave somewhere around here. Okay, aluminium. We can not harvest that. If you hold down shift, it should tell you what the harvesting level is. Um, turns out there's a bit of a problem at the present with what am I looking at, that it won't actually tell you what the harvesting level is of these things once I've tweaked them. So I can definitely... Here a lot of cop that knife, cop it, cop it. More spiders and zombies. See, they can get up here, so they're a problem for me. up on me, stop it, cut it out. Okay. Not the way I was hoping that things would go here. That should pretty much have that side blocked off. going to totally shoot me in the butt. Okay, time to go back up and get some carrots. So how did that little expedition go? 10% of the way there. Man, that's going to take a lot. Yeah, getting, certainly getting there with that. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. Unfortunately for me, I haven't got a way that I can actually do anything good at the moment. So maybe while I'm waiting I can set up um, a little bit of a farm, farm some carrots. Because at least um, until morning that's probably going to be my only option. So what have we got? Time to farm. Haven't yet got time to strike. Yeah, so just to get all the achievements, I need to make a few more tools. Got myself time to strike. Got myself getting an upgrade. Um, now I need monster hunter, cow tipper. Yep, 
Yeah, so I got, I got a ways to go. Flower getting in my way there. Okay. Okay. I have this crazy feeling he's going to kill me. So this is where now I could flick my dagger at him. Haha, -ha, got him. Ooh, bones. It's now also almost morning by the looks of things. Uh, so I've survived the first night. Let's take those bones. Let's, let's shore this up a bit first. Stone is not something I'm going to be running out of anytime soon, so I'll chalk that up a bit later. For now, though, boop, boop, boop. Nice. Now, I believe I can just. No. Thought I might have been able to just right click on these things. Um, boop. Now used up all my food too. Probably didn't think that situation through just then. Um. So we got bell pepper, eggplants. I'm gonna eat that carrot. Okay, so basically there's not a huge amount uh, that I'm going to be able to do until I up my mining level and heal up a bit. Um, what I can probably do though I was going to say I can just go searching for some more see if that helps me at all, but look we've got up here berry garden, a couple of berry gardens actually. And that was a good garden I think it's called. And that's a mushroom garden. So we've got a number of different things now that hopefully will give me some food. Yep, definitely looking like it. So if I stick one of those in there, one of those, and a blackberry, uh, stuff it, let's stick at least two of each thing in there. But I can eat a couple of blackberries. Excellent. Ooh, chicken. Seeds, perfect. Um, let's see if we can't lure this chicken in. Yo. Yo, chicky one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Excellent. Um, OK. 
Come on. Come on. I need your eggs. Did you just pop an egg? I'm sure I heard you pop an egg. Just gonna pile that up a little bit higher to make sure that chicken doesn't get out. And then I'm gonna call an end of this episode. Um, haven't got a lot done. You know, I recognize that. Um, but sometimes that's the way Minecraft just starts off. Where in the heck did that chicken go? How did you get out? Ninja. Come on. I can't believe he ninjaed his way out. Absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Just unbelievable. Okay, but what we do have now is the ability to make uh, barley flour. And barley flour, of course, cooks into bread. So I think I've got the whole food situation sorted. And we've got an egg. So I'm just going to chuck all of my stuff pretty much in here. Except for some of these berries. There we go. Except for a couple of berries and a cantaloupe. Oh, actually. And bread. There we go. So, we are pretty much sweet. We have a little... Um, not even going to sully its name by calling it a house. We have a slightly defensible position. Um, we've got the makings of a farm. Which is... Yeah, hopefully not a bad thing. We've got ourselves our first set of uh, tools that we're going to kind of survive with. So yeah, everything is looking everything is looking like we have a bit of a start going. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Uh, off camera, I'm basically just going to collect some wood. I'm going to make sure that I don't level up my tool. Ages to go anyway, so I'm going to collect a lot of wood while I'm waiting for this tool to get close to leveling up. Um, hopefully, collect a bunch of saplings, clear some area out. I will probably. I'm going to try not to terraform the land here. Oh, sheep. Um, where there's one, there should be more. Should definitely be more. One white, one brown wall. Can hear him. Perfect. Actually, there's quite a lot more of them, so. And there's more chickens and stuff as well, that's excellent. See, I'm actually not doing too badly. So I have the makings to make a bed. I'm not going to make it just yet. Um, ooh, what I forgot to mention as well is the change that I made to the Railcraft Ore uh, means that the poor ore variants can be mi can be mined one level earlier um, than you can with the standard ore. So that means uh, a copper ore can be mined at stone level, an iron ore can be mined at copper level, etc etc etc. So that gives you a way of getting nuggets that can sort of speed up your progression if you go in and look for that sort of thing. Chickens! Seriously, you, you! Stop! 
day. Okay, cool. So thank you very much for everyone. I hope you've enjoyed watching this uh, start to the series. Um, I know it's a bit of a slow start, but I think it'll make the progression all that more fun uh, once I actually start getting to the point where you know I've, I've got access to all of the good things and can start to do a lot of stuff. So uh, thank you for watching. Until next time, A Stocky out.